Hello, I'm Kristen Tyler, one of the co-founders of Law Clark, and I'm really excited you're here today with us to learn more about how we are helping thousands of lawyers all across the country power their law firms. I'm going to be joined today by my fellow co-founder and our CEO, Greg Garman, and we really want to give you some important updates on how our remote associate sub subscription program is helping thousands of lawyers all across the country. So first, let's take a step back. If you first heard about us a couple years ago, then you already know that we offer project-based work. This is a great solution for solo attorneys and small firms who need occasional help or even every single day help in the form of a project. But in January of 2021, we rolled out a subscription-based program for those attorneys and firms who wanted a deeper level of help in their firm without the traditional hire. So we're gonna dig into the, the how and why and all the good details about this later on today. But first, I want to join, I want to have Greg join us. Welcome, Greg. And, you know, I would love to hear from your perspective, kind of the background of why the subscription program came to be and how you see it impacting so many attorneys. Well, thanks, Kristen. Well, you know, you and I have built firms together before, big firms and small firms. And hiring and getting work done is um, obviously not only mission critical, but some days it's the hardest part. And we launched Law Clerk, you know, a couple of years ago, and the, 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 the reaction has been, you know, overwhelming. I mean, you know, tens and tens and tens of thousands of, uh, of attorneys have used us to get work done. But what we constantly heard um, from our fellow attorneys, from our hiring attorneys, and even the, the, the freelancers who worked for us was they wanted a deeper level of integration. Instead of just having a brief or a contract or a research project, uh, they wanted to be able to work together from the life cycle of a case or occasionally when they want to enter into a, a new practice area and, and tap into the expertise uh, uh, or experience level of, of remote associates. And so, you know, we launched uh, at the beginning of last year uh, and to say uh, the, 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 the use and the response has been um, overwhelming is, is a dramatic understatement. Um, and, you know, over that 18 months, we launched a product that you know, no one had ever seen before. Um, this part-time remote associate model um, had never been implemented in, in the way that we did it. Uh, and uh, we learned from it. And, you know, we got some constructive feedback on, you know, not only new features and new, new technology to build, um, but new ways to uh, allow uh, firms and hiring attorneys to deeply integrate um, with uh, their remote associates. Well, I think there's it's no secret that there's been a lot of headlines about the so-called Great Recession. And you can talk to any business owner in any industry these days and hear about the challenges of hiring. And, you know, hiring can be scary for a, a solo attorney, a small firm. It's expensive. It takes a lot of time. And that's all in, you know, despite the fact that we're also facing kind of uncertain economic times. So, you know, Greg, how does a subscription lead into this and how can it really be a smart solution for a business savvy attorney? Well, you know, when we started Law Clerk, we really set out to give tools to um, lawyers, both hiring lawyers and, and remote associates and freelancers, tools to bring more efficiency um, to the practice of law. You know, something that had other industries had certainly um, found tools to work with and ours really hadn't. Um, and subscription um, is really a logical extension of that. When you're a small firm, um, medium-sized firm, even a large firm, the decision to bring on you know, an, another full-time body is not always an easy one. Um, you know, particularly at, at small and medium-sized firms, um, having that workload you know, to, to, to go from zero to one um, on that associate level or you know, two to three, it's a meaningful increase in work. And so what we heard was um, two things. We heard that it really needed to be based upon part-time work. And so, um, you know, well over 90% of our subscriptions that, um, the, that we provide are um, part-time work, you know, ranging from a minimum of 30 hours a month to up to you know, nearly full-time or even more. Uh, and then the second thing was that, you know, there's a saying we have around the office uh, that really has turned out to be true and we got it from our users, which is, you know, oftentimes what a firm needs is they need a half a litigator and a third of a real estate lawyer uh, instead of one full-time associate struggling to do both. And so, you know, these are the types of, of, of moments and in, in time in which the cost structure is really important. And you add associates to get more work done and to make a profit on them, but you have to keep their utilization rate up. You have to keep them working efficiently. And it's a lot easier to add, you know, a third of an associate at exactly the skill level that you need 
um, than having uh, a full-time associate who's you know got a third or half of their time where you're putting them towards administrative work uh, just to keep them busy. Yeah, a, a part-time remote associate uh, with no overhead, by the way, makes a lot of sense for so many reasons. Um, Greg, so you used to be the managing partner of a, a larger regional firm, and you've definitely hired a lot of lawyers over the years. In your, from your perspective, you know, what are some of the advantages to our subscription program versus that traditional law firm hiring model? Yeah, you know, the number one is just flexibility. Um, it doesn't matter what size firm you're in, if you're in a small firm or if you're in a firm of a thousand lawyers, there are ebbs and flows in the economy. And those ebbs and flows um, have direct and meaningful impact on practice groups. Um, you know, there's no doubt that uh, we saw an increase in family law and divorce work to, uh, coming out of the pandemic. Um, there's no doubt, uh, I'm a bankruptcy lawyer, there's no doubt that, you know, we're seeing an economic uh, uh, downturn that's uh, at least uh, starting to rear its head and uh, bankruptcy calls are coming in more. M&A work is down, you know, interest rates have an impact on lending. Um, the What firms need is changing um, at a more rapid pace, you know, just like the world in general, things change faster than they used to. And the flexibility to be able to find exactly what it is you need in a particular window is important. You know, those days of retooling an associate to, you know, move from being a litigator to a transactional lawyer or, or vice versa, you know, it doesn't really work anymore. Clients aren't willing to pay for training. Uh, the hours aren't necessarily, uh, you know, divided as to what they need to be. You know, rates need to be uh, appropriate for the skill level of work. Uh, and so flexibility for firms is, is how we built it. And as you mentioned, the flip side of that is the cost structure. Um, when you need to bring on, you know, a third of a real estate lawyer, um, only paying for a third of a real estate lawyer who works on a remote basis and, you know, doesn't take up office space, doesn't take up uh, other overhead, uh, has proven to be critical. And that was our thesis when we launched subscription. And to say, if anything, we undershot it. Um, you know, we have firms that have three, four, I believe somebody even has five um, virtual or remote associates uh, that they use in, in different practice areas. And, um, you know, what we've found is that they're not five full-time uh, 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 remote associates. They're five uh, half-time or five quarter-time or, you know, some variation they're in and it, it is exactly the experience level and exactly the expertise that you need. You know, we, we've seen firms who have had traditionally um, litigation associates under um, a subscription program say, my practice is changing and I need to uh, swap out uh, some of these hours for somebody with a, a better uh, skill set for the clients who are coming through the door now. Uh, and, you know, that flexibility is just something that no law firm uh, in the world, regardless of size, uh, has. That's for sure. So I know if, uh, if you're a lawyer watching this right now, you're probably thinking, well, this all sounds amazing. But I'm going to guess that one of the questions come to your mind is, but what about the talent level? I'm, that's a question I get a lot, Greg. I'm sure you've encountered it, too, from some of our users. Um, so if you someone came up to you and said, you know, how do I know these part-time remote associates are really talented lawyers? How would you respond to that question? Yeah, you know, this is something that um, in our industry, uh, it's really been an unfair label that um, people who work remote or people who are freelance lawyers um, couldn't cut it. Um, is there truth in that in some people? I'm sure there is, but that's not the experience that we have um, on, on Lockhart. We have thousands and thousands of thousands of the most talented lawyers um, you could possibly imagine. Most of them um, have made a decision that working in an office is just incompatible with the life that they want. And they were they, they range from, from first years to literally we have Supreme Court practitioners who have been in the practice of law more than 45 years. Um, but they've made a decision for some reason in their life. Perhaps they're easing into retirement. Perhaps they wanted to, to raise children um, in a way that was incompatible with, uh, with working 80 hours at a desk at a regional law firm. Um, the, 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 the stories that we hear are endless, but the world saw how well legal handled remote work in COVID. Uh, and lots of people, uh, lots of firms, um, and our remote associates have just decided that this is the way uh, that it is uh, best to live their life. 
And to say, you know, that the talent level, the talent level on law clerk is superior to anything that you will go out and find in the marketplace. Our depth, uh, the, the geographic range that we have, and the, the, the thousands upon thousands of uh, remote lawyers that we have uh, is literally second to none. And it is really hard to hire in this market. And so not only is it a better talent pool, um, it's faster. Um, because you get immediate access to um, to this pool, and you know it, 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 the experience in, in this industry is well known. It takes six to nine months to find an associate um, to um, join your firm. Um, on average, between the time that you make a call uh, to say you want to post a job and have us look for a candidate pool for you, to the time that um, that 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 uh, remote associate starts at your firm is 14 and a half days. Um, and uh, uh, it happens a lot faster. We've had it happen literally in an afternoon. Um, you know, sometimes <laughs> some jobs take uh, a little more time uh, because uh, they need the, the, the skill set is incredibly specialized, um, but it is a deep pool, uh, and it is a pool that can move uh, incredibly fast. Absolutely. I think you hit all the high points there, that we have a deep talent pool. These are experienced lawyers. You know, we ran the data a few months back and found that on average, our freelancers have been out of law school at least 11.2 years. So these are, by and large, not new attorneys. They are seasoned attorneys that have worked their own cases, handled their own clients, and now for a multitude of reasons are choosing very intentionally to go to part-time remote work. And, um, you know, when you can tap into that talent as a hiring attorney who has that need, it's a win-win for everyone. So I, I'm a big fan of this program and it's been fun to see how the program has evolved even in its short lifespan of, you know, 18 months, a little bit more than that. But uh, Greg, talk us through the evolution of how our subscription program has changed in response to attorneys' needs and, um, and our freelancers' needs as well. Yeah. So. When we when we launched the program, um, we weren't sure because um, no one had ever done it before. We weren't sure exactly um, how deep the integrations um, um, firms would want to make it. And what we found was the most successful hires were definitely um, the remote associates who were most deeply integrated into the firm. You know, who were given access to the file management system and you know uh, other systems, uh, and and who communicate. Um, with the firm in a regular fashion as other associates do. And so, um, you know, what we found is there's a sweet spot. Um, and, you know, what we found is that um, associates who, uh, who are hired on a remote basis to work um, 30 hours or more per month, um, that's where it really worked. Um, you know, there were people who experimented with less hours than that. And candidly, it turned out that, you know, if you want an associate for 10 or 15 hours a month, you're better off going to the marketplace because that's, you know, literally... Um, that's a half hour, less than a half hour a day of work. Um, and so, you know, the program is now a minimum of 30 hours per month. Uh, it goes up to, we have, we have firms that are actually more than full time, um, um, with the associates, uh, you take into account overtime, even on top of that. And they're some of the busiest associates, uh, you would see in the industry. Um, <clears throat> we also made changes to be more flexible. Um, when it came, when it comes to rates, um, what we also found is that there is a, a really big. We all know, um, you know, the big couple. There are differences in, in rates between um, securities work, tax work, and uh, and family law across the country. But we also found that the geographic distinctions between um, various cities, even within a state, you know, were candidly a little greater than we probably anticipated. And so, you know, we, we, we've always been a marketplace uh, at the end of the day, philosophically. And, and so um, we moved to a bit more of a marketplace mentality in which um, the hiring attorney posts a, a price or a range in which they're looking for candidates. Um, we then find them those candidates. Nine out of 10 times the rate that the uh, hiring attorney, you know, posts is the one that the uh, uh, freelancer will say, I absolutely want to work for. Uh, but what we found was there were candidates who perhaps were um, a little more qual qualified than uh, what we were looking for, had uh, <clears throat> a more specific skill set. And so we built into it the ability to test the market. And uh, for all practical purposes, you can get a counteroffer now and you can kind of evaluate what's best for your firm. Uh, and so I think we, 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 we really built the system, made successful changes to the system so that hiring attorneys can see a broader 
range of candidates um, with different skill sets at slightly different price points and find exactly what works for them at the end of the day. Uh, and then, you know, the process is uh, we, we, we've, we've integrated more tools so that um, the knowledge base about the candidates is better, the hiring process, the interview process, all of those things are better. Um, uh, we've just, uh, uh, again, learned and listened um, to what everybody, uh, hiring attorneys and the remote associates uh, told us would, would make the relationship deeper and better and more successful for everybody at the end of the day. Absolutely. So just to quickly recap that before we have a few questions that I want to get to, but, um, you know, minimum <clears throat> of 30 hours, less than that, you're going to do better with doing uh, projects and using the Teams feature on our marketplace. Uh, there's a variety of pay rates. There are more details about that on our website, lawclerk.legal. Go find the remote associate uh, banner and you can get the details there, or you can talk to one of our team members. Um, and there's no long-term contracts, so we're not going to be locking you into anything. It's a 30-day cancellation, and um, it's billed twice a month. So those are some of the other common questions. And another great feature is that you can, you know, you can add hours and subtract seasonally as needed. Or if you have a trial, we're, we work with you in that flexible way to get the help you need when you need it. And we're really committed to that. So, um, Greg, I know another common question we get is, well, what if I find someone I really like and I want to hire them? How does that work? Yeah, you know, that happens, <clears throat> excuse me, that happens on a fairly regular basis. I, I actually saw one of those come across my desk this morning. Um, we're in the business of, of connecting um, remote lawyers with the firms. And most firms um, decide that, you know, it's best to work through the system we take care of, uh, tax reporting. We make sure um, that uh, they remain independent contractors in, in the eyes of uh, state requirements and federal requirements to you know, keep attorneys in compliance. But from time to time, um, we have uh, firms who say, boy, I hired, I hired this great uh, remote part-time associate on a quarter-time basis, and I've been talking to them, and I'd like to you know, bring them in the office full-time. Um, you can do that. Um, you know, we charge a, a, a competitive, uh, more competitive than, uh, than I think most, uh, fee uh, to, uh, to, to bring them in-house. But, but if you find exactly the person you're working, uh, you're working with, great, and you want to roll them in uh, to your firm, um, there's a fee associated with it, but we uh, uh, facilitate that, that transfer uh, and we, we do love to see you know, these successful long-term relationships. It really is, uh, it really is our goal and uh, I think a testament to, uh, to, to the network we've built uh, and our ability to match the right candidates together. For sure. I think it's a major win, a major success mm -hmm. so when we can find a match like that. So, all right, another question. Um, what if it doesn't work out? Um, what if the subscription program isn't a match? Talk us through that. You know, I've hired, um, in my role as a law firm owner, uh, I've hired more than 100 associates at, at, at a variety of firms. And the thing I know is that uh, it often doesn't work out. Um, sometimes um, expectations are set wrong. Sometimes people just don't turn out to be the person they were in the interview. Sometimes I'm a bad fit. My, our firm is a bad fit um, for that hire. Sometimes um, circumstances change and, you know, uh, uh, lives evolve. Um, that happens. And it's it happens within the subscription model. It's not the right fit. But when it does, that's perhaps among the greatest um, tools that we built is the ability to quickly find another alternative candidate. Um, when, you, when you put a job up, we filter the uh, uh, associates who apply. Um, we go out and, and canvas the pool ourselves to find just the right fit. Um, and for whatever reason, um, it doesn't work out. You tell us. We do the difficult part. We find you alternative candidates to interview for a replacement. Um, and we have that difficult conversation uh, when, when we say to uh, your remote associate, this just isn't the right fit. We'll find you someone else to, uh, to interview and work for. Uh, within the platform, but uh, this probably wasn't the ideal match. And, um, you know, the, it's regrettable uh, that not every uh, match works. And most do. Uh, I don't want to make it sound like uh, most don't. Most definitely do. Um, but it is one of uh, actually the, the great features of the uh, remote subscription program is just how quickly 
uh, we can find uh, an alternative uh, remote associate to swap out um, that meets your needs. Definitely, definitely. Another quick question that came in, how does the malpractice insurance work? So just like the marketplace, um, um, they are working um, uh, under uh, your malpractice policy because they are doing written work in the background. Um, we um, allow you to more deeply integrate. Um, um, you know, there's nuances to this that we can work that you work through with your dedicated law clerk advisor. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, they are uh, uh, freelancers, uh, contract employees who are working for you under your malpractice policy, under your supervision. Um, and you know, at the end of the day, it's you who has the client contact. It's you who goes to court. Um, it's you who is negotiating with uh, opposing counsel. And you know, the most successful uh, remote associates we have are really the ones who are doing the written work, the research, the uh, strategy building, uh, you know, the outlines, um, the briefs uh, in the background, turning that over to you the same way you've worked uh, with associates uh, you know, your entire careers. You take it, you polish it, you make sure it's right, you present it to the client, you present it to the court. Uh, and you know we built it um, because that's not only what works best, that's what our customers, that's what hiring told, attorneys told us they wanted. That's for sure. All right, so if this remote associate subscription program sounds interesting to you, you may be wondering, how do I explore my options? What are next steps? Uh, if you already have an account with Law Clerk, fantastic. I would encourage you to connect with your dedicated Law Clerk advisor who can help walk you through the process, gather the information that we need to go start that vetting process for you. Uh, again, you know, there's no fees with, with Law and there's no monthly fees with Law Clerk, and there's no fee to explore a subscription and see if it's a fit for you and if we can find you the right talent level in a remote associate. So definitely, if you have an account, reach out to your dedicated Law Clerk advisor. If you don't have an account, come visit us at lawclerk.legal. You can sign up for an account, you can book a demo, or you can also reach out to us uh, by email, support at lawclerk.legal. Again, that's support at lawclerk.legal, or give us an old fashioned phone call. We'd love to talk to you on the phone and see how we can help with your hiring needs. Uh, you can reach us by phone at 888-479-5728. And that number's on the website as well. So when in doubt, just visit lawclerk.legal and we will help you figure this out and navigate the hiring path and uh, hopefully find the best remote associate for you. Greg, any parting thoughts? No, um, uh, Krista, thanks for setting this up. Uh, we've, uh, we've been having people ask for a, an update and uh, look forward to, uh, to working with more of you. All right, well, thanks, Greg, and thanks to everyone for joining us today. We hope this was, was helpful. We know your time is valuable, and we look forward to the opportunity to help you find a remote associate that fits your firm. Thank you.